How do you charge it, Jimmy? Uh, mixed in all these pillars and blankets on the sofa. Tired. You want a blanket? Yeah. Okay. Let me get this one ready for Teddy then. I know, it sounds horrible. And we're going to soft play today, so it's going to be busy, busy. Farm, not the farm too, we're going to soft play. You know those quick slide. Yeah? Let's go there. Can't go to the farm when it's raining, all animals will be inside. He really is really desperate to go to the farm, bless him. Farm. We'll go to the farm oh. another day. We're going to soft play today though. For that big slide that you go down. Can you remember? Yeah. Do you want to go there with Heidi? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We'll have some breakfast and we can go later, okay? Thumbs up for Mama. Oh, one. Oh, other one. There we go. You what, Jimmy? Yeah, I'll do some washing. I'm going to put all that away later as well. Oh, I'm so tired. Even though I got a good night's sleep. Beast. No more beast. You want to watch Beast? Yeah. Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go get Teddy. Will Mummy go get Teddy? Too much stuff in my hands. Oh. You want some milk? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll put Teddy there. Alright, let me get you some milk, both of you. There we go, morning. Yeah, I'll when you see you later. Thank you. Love you, bye. Okay. So, bye, Dada. Bye, Dada. He's going to work now. Bye. Oh. Oh, you see, I love you. He's gone now, Jesse, but I'm sure he knows you love him. I know, I'm getting you some meat now. I'm just doing teddies as well, okay? You want to watch Beauty and the Beast? It's okay, back later. We've got to go onto the slide, remember? Right, let me put Beast on. Monster. Is he turning into a monster? Come on then. Are you excited? What are you two doing? Are you making him laugh? Are you making Teddy laugh? Oh. oh, that's nice. You're a lovely big brother, aren't you? Oh, Jesse. That's lovely. Go on then, what are you doing? Are you putting his dummy in? Go on then, put it in for him. He's laughing at you. Because he loves you. He's laughing at you. Again. Again? Whoa. Is Teddy going to go down the slide today with Jesse? No. He's too small, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, you Oh, you want Teddy to come down the slide with you? Yeah. All right. Morning, everybody. Thought whilst I was making my coffee, I will come and say morning. So, I've been wanting to do one of these videos for ages. If you've been following my YouTube since I started, which is three years ago in November, not sure how that's happened. I mean, I know we're only in January, but still three years this year since I started TikTok and YouTube. Um, then I used to do like, I don't think I did it every month, but uh, I did quite a few of sp uh, 24 hours with my five month old, 24 hours with my seven month old, obviously just with Jesse. And then I've thought for ages, I need to do like a day 
um, a day with my two kids, like obviously Jess is two now and Teddy is two month old. Um, and there's just never been the right time to film it because either, you know, obviously Jesse goes to nursery went uh, on a Tuesday and then he's with his grad and everything on a Wednesday and pretty much like all the Thursday. So I've just never like really found a good time to do it where I could show you a realistic like day with them both. Uh, you know, you know, just like a realistic day. I wanted to do that. So we've had a pretty good night to be honest. You know what? I am dreading when Teddy starts going through some sort of regression because he's a, he's a good little sleeper, you know, honestly. He's better than what Jesse was. Uh, and I'm not quite sure, I've not really done anything specific for him to sleep through the night. I have no idea how it's happened, to be honest. It started in Centre Parks, he slept through the night, and then pretty much ever since then, he's been sleeping through. Like, he, he gets up about five-ish and does a, a bit of like a murmur from then on. But he, he like this morning it were half seven. He got up. Um, Jesse had a really good night as well. Because sometimes Jesse will actually get up more than Teddy in the night, uh, just for like comfort things. Um, but I think Jesse was super tired yesterday because I had to wake him up from his nap yesterday. So we had a pretty good night overall, which is amazing. So, it, but I still feel tired. Is anyone else the same? Like I think I will forever just be tired. I, honestly, but I think that's also down to me eating really poorly and like not eating well and you know, I probably should just go straight to sleep as soon as these two do but you know, I sit up on my phone, stuff like that. But anyway, today we are going to soft play which is mine and the boys' favourite place to go, genuinely. I know some people hate soft plays, we love them, we absolutely love them and um, you know, I take Jesse and he goes around on his own. Uh, so it's like a nice big soft play, he can't get out and I can pretty much see him from wherever he goes really. So yeah, he does his thing, you know, Teddy's chilling in his pram, you know, getting him out when he needs a feed and I can just have a sit down with a coffee, you know, whilst Jesse's really enjoying himself. And the good thing about soft play is I'm always guaranteed a long nap after we've been, which means like I've planned in to do the housework when we get back from soft play. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming in now. Oh my god. I've just realised it's my cousin's supposed to be coming round today. I've just realised. <laughs> I'm going to soft play at 11 and my cousin's coming at half 10. I've totally forgot. What's up, Jesse? Hey, yeah. Oh, guys, I can't believe I've done that. I've literally just clicked on and she's just sent me a message saying I'll be there just before half 10. Oops! Right. Oh my god, I can't believe I've done that. Do you know what? I knew there was summer. I'm gonna have to message girls because I still want to go to soft play, but we might just have to go a little bit later. Hello. Are you gonna take your dummy out now? Yeah, thank you. I'm just gonna try and be as realistic today as possible and just tell you everything, you know, that we get up to. And uh, just show you what it's like sometimes with two kids. Right, so we're still kind of in the stage where Mommy. Teddy... Morning. We're still kind of in the stage where Teddy is like, you know, still in his newborn stage where <laughs> he will sleep and then wake up and feed. Uh, I know that these days will be a little bit more challenging when Teddy's a little bit older and, you know, he's on the move, he's crawling uh, and he has like his, you know, he's awake for longer. Um, so I know it's going to be a bit more challenging when we get to that stage, but... Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll cut up, but yeah, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's easy, it's definitely not easy, but you know, it's a bit more manageable at the minute because Teddy obviously just sleeps quite a lot and eats whenever, you know, like every three hours, so it's a bit more easier to plan things. Um, but yeah, like I said, when he's a bit older, it might just be a little bit different. Yeah, thank you for messing with my hair. Right, guys, I actually can't believe I've made that mistake of totally and utterly forgetting. So, that means then... I'm going to get both boys ready before my cousin arrives and then we can just set off straight away when she leaves, can't we? So I've got my nice big coffee, this is what I do every single morning, I either make a coffee or a tea, I know, thank you for doing my hair so nicely. Um, Jesse will spend a bit of time on the sofa just chilling um, before he like gets up and has his crazy, crazy mode. Teddy gave me speed, done his nappy change and all that stuff um, and I just usually save my PJs until you know it's time to get ready and if we're not doing anything I'll save my PJs all day I've got no shame in that at all 
I love my pyjamas. I like being comfy. So now that means I need to tidy my house because oh, oh. I can't have because mind you, do you know what? Jimmy did so good last night and, and hoovered the whole house. It's like he knew my cousin was coming around today and I needed the house tidying. Y'all making some noise. So I just need to give it a quick tidy because we had a Chinese last night and for some reason I've not took it out to the bin and it's been left on the kitchen side all night. So now the kitchen smells of Chinese. Doesn't it? Yeah. Does it smell like Chinese food in Mummy's kitchen? Do you want to be a hairdresser when you're older? Do you want to cut people's hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I thought you wanted to be an ice hockey player. No, not. All right, okay. <laughs> Mama, Yeah, the house isn't too bad, to be honest, so I'm Mama, just going to do it. Yeah? Pork. Pork, where is it? No, not. Yeah, you'll have to have a look for it. So, yeah, I need to give the house a quick tidy. She will be coming in <laughs> about an hour and 15 minutes so I need to get sorted yeah don't touch the coffee <laughs> yeah let me just do a quick tidy right first up some washing to make it look like my washing pile isn't as big so put some washing in <laughs> oh honestly playing in his playroom with his hockey stuff so I'm quickly gonna sterilize and then just you know carry on giving it a quick tidy Right, breakfast time for Jesse whilst I'm just doing some tidying. He usually has the same thing every morning. It's always toast and a bit of fruit. Mama. Yeah, mommy's making your breakfast now, Jesse. Never make it first thing in the morning because he always has that little what? He always has that little nap thing first. So I like to wait until he's like fully awake. My cousin's just sent me a text joint saying, "Do you want a Starbucks bring in?" Yes, please. <laughs> I need all the coffee. Right, so it's just gonna have to be strawberries today because that's all I've got. Jesse is being a little bit challenging this morning, I can't lie. You know, some days we have really good days where we will actually just like be a good boy and listen and stuff. But then today, yeah, today's definitely a day that we need to go to soft play and like get out of the house. Um, so I'm glad we're going out later on. But you know, that's just toddlers and um, it's just life, isn't it? That's just what they like. I think I've just seen a parcel. That's for me, Royal Mail are dropping off a Wish Upon a Candle Co. Um, parcel because it's pink and I think it's for me. So I'm dead excited because I didn't think that would come in until tomorrow. Right, breakfast all done for Mr. Jesse in his Spider-Man plate. Sorry if you can hear that washing machine behind me. But this is what he's got. Strawberries and some toast. And I always have to give him a fork. There we go. <laughs> Hiya. Thank you. Yeah. That's not ding ding, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Right, Mummy's got you your breakfast, mister. Look at, oh, it's going everywhere. This is because I'm rushing now. Every time I rush, I make mistakes. Wow. You want to eat it up? Yeah, it's a Spider-Man plate, isn't it? Good oh boy. So usually for breakfast, I won't put him in his high chair anymore. Oh, wow, well done. Well done. Jesse is loving praise at the minute. So if he knows, I will like say, well done, Jesse. He'll always come, mama, watch and do something that I know I'll praise him for. So bless him. It's just so lucky saying mama, watch, because he knows when he puts it in his mouth, I'll say, good boy. Go on then. Oh, wow, you are the biggest boy in the world. <laughs> High five. Oh, thanks, Jesse. Office pump. And what do we do? Tiddly, tiddly, tiddly. And then high five. Woohoo!
Face bump. Diddly, diddly, diddly. <laughs> Bless him, we've been doing that for ages now. The little uh, high five, fist pump, and then the little thing. Bless him. It kills me. Right, now I've made a mess on breakfast. Do you know what? I'm sure we're all the exact same, but you know, I should not be stressing that my cousin's coming round and like worrying that the house is a mess because does it really matter? <laughs> You know, I'm like looking into everything and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to think I'm a scruff, but I've got two kids at the end of the day and I ain't got really time to do stuff like this. Like normally I would not be doing this right now, guys. Trust me, I would be on that sofa still and I would not be cleaning, but I just, <laughs> I just worry because I just, I am, um, I've always, always worried about what people think about me, whether that's family, friends, whatever. I've always been the same. I think more so recently, I've not really bothered especially when it comes to people online who don't even know who you are like total strangers who um you know just like to say stuff to get at you um that doesn't bother me at all it's more like you know people i actually know that you know i worry what they think about me as opposed to complete strangers online who sit on like writing on horrible hate forums um you know, wasting the life more chubby. Sorry? More, more chubby. Oh, did you hear that? I've never heard him say strawberry before. What do you want? More chubby. More strawberries? Yeah. Well, why don't you eat those ones first? And then when you've eaten those, Mummy will get you some more. Right. Yeah? Oh, it kills me. I know I've just said he's challenging today, but then he goes and does something like that and it just melts me. You've got it all, oh, good boy. You eat it all up and then Mummy will get you some more strawberries. Yeah? Right, the kitchen isn't too bad, so I think I'm going to leave that. Oh, I'm not even finished my coffee. I really want to open my wish pan of candle order with you all. Have you got it? You are such a good boy, Jessie, eating all of your dinner at ah, well, breakfast. Do you know what? Oh, no, I need to get him dressed. I really want to open my wish pan of candle order with you all. I feel like this, um, this vlog is so chaotic already. What's up? What, do you want to tell everybody? No. No, okay. Right, I am going to quickly open the Wish Upon a Candle order with you all because I'm just too excited. I've also ordered this light as well that everyone's going crazy for on TikTok shop. TikTok shop has taken over my life the past few weeks, honestly. There's just so much good stuff on there, it's unreal. Right, but you know my relationship with Wish Upon a Candle. Um, again, if you've watched from the very beginning, I've been working with well, Wish Upon a Candle now. I'm pretty sure for two years because I'm sure I started as a um, like a brand ambassador thing when I first like properly started which would have been in 2021 maybe the beginning of 2022 so it has been I'm pretty sure it's been two years it has to be yeah so maybe three years this year and so I have my own bundle with them on TikTok shop guys I don't know if it'll still be up when this video goes up because I know I'm a bit behind on editing and stuff but yeah jasmine asked me if i wanted to do my own bundle so it's got like all my favorite scents in i think these are just a few of what um oh my gosh she sent me some more bits because i didn't have everything for the bundle to show you all so she kindly sent the bits out that i didn't have but she's put this in oh, she's put the new scents in oh my god i'm so excited oh my god guys these are the new scents i've not smelt them yet i need to be quiet because teddy's literally asleep there but it's pirate cove and africa at sunset and i've not smelt them yet oh here we go jesse's here <laughs> i'll smell those with you now but this is in my bundle the floridian it's one of my absolute favorite scents it's absolutely gorgeous and it comes with the big um in the big luxury candle absolute bliss it's so gorgeous i can't even tell you oh wait i've got some more bits in here wow this is also in my bundle the glass slipper bath bomb and then she's gave me the castle of dreams body mist how lovely is that oh jess is um attacking the packing peanuts but i need to keep the box right let's smell these so this is supposed to smell like the pirates of the caribbean ride at disney so it's like a damp not like a horrible damp smell but um, a nostalgic fragrance of fresh rain, damp ocean air and salt ocean water. Right, I am so excited to smell this. Let's give it a whiff. Oh my god. Oh, that is so nice. That is lovely. 
Right, Africa at sunset. The un... Sorry, I can't read because it's really dark in here. Unmistakable fragrance of sun-drenched grass, dusty soil and warm musk at sunset. Wow! Oh my God, I've never smelled anything like that before. Oh, I've never ever smelled anything like that before. That is really lovely. That do, it smells like grass, like a lovely, fresh spring summer day. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Jasmine. So that's perfect, because I'm gonna light this right now. Get my house smelling. In fact, no, because I need to use it for a video, so maybe, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be using it. Are you eating your breakfast? Yes. Right, well, I'm dead happy with that, so I can film a little video later on for them, which is amazing. You all right? Yeah. You enjoying your breakfast? Have you had all your strawberries yet? I thought you wanted some more. I know, you've only got three left. Haven't you? You're such a big boy. Right, Jesse is all ready for when we go to soft play. Just got him in a nice tracksuit. We're top on underneath so we can take his jumper off when we get there and he's just like using myself as the climbing frame. I've quickly got myself ready. Put my Adenola neat jumper on uh, with some black leggings. Uh, my hair isn't going to be like this. I've just literally shoved it back. But I've brushed my teeth, washed my face, put some moisturiser on, and I've put a bit of perfume on just to make myself feel a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, we're all ready now. Uh, my cousin should be here any minute, and then we'll be going to soft play after. Oh my god, guys, total nightmare. Jesse, it's not a nightmare actually, I'm being a bit dramatic there. Jesse, I said this morning has been a bit challenging. Oh, it is challenging today, my two-year-old. Oh my goodness. I think what we need is the soft play. That is what we need. Um, my cousin's been round now. Just towards the end, he started to get a little bit naughty. Um, but in but he kept saying to me, Mama slide, Mama slide. So I think I told him obviously this morning that we were going to soft play, got him ready, and then he's a bit like, Why aren't we going? You know, why is someone come round and now we're not going to soft play? So I think that might be the reason why, but it's actually 12 o'clock now. The girls are literally going to be there. I need to go. I've not even put a coat on <laughs> and it's raining so bad. So let's go to soft play. I think it's what we all need today for sure. And then get home. Hopefully he has a long nap and then I can crack on with putting the washing away. Right, we've made it. Jesse fell asleep in the car, so I think that's why he was being naughty. Because he was tired. He always gets like that when he's tired. Until the Ranelli is just... Today's just going from bad to worse, guys. A glass just fell out of my boot and just smashed all over the road. I think I might just go home and go to bed. My milk from the hills bottle smashed. My <laughs> <laughs> milk from the hills. It must have been in his pram and I've just whacked it out and it's gone all over the frigging road and smashed. We're supposed to be vlogging, well, I'm vlogging right now for a day, a day with my two kids and it's just going from bad to worse at this point. <laughs> Look at Oh, oh guys, I can't leave that up road because there's kids. I'm gonna have to pick it up and put it in my in my boot. Honestly, I just feel like a mess. I've not even straightened the air or I just I'm just a bit of a mess today. I can't even have a fan. Right. <laughs> what are you Thanks, Ellie. Like that? I don't know because we normally pull those faces at each other when we see each other, don't we? So we're like thing and then you picked me and I thought oh are they wanting me for a reason do you know what I mean oh I bought that yeah. outfit right oh my god don't forget about it we've picked the glass up guys um don't worry I outlaughed it Stop. well it were actually just all Ellie who did it <laughs> not me oh Ted for you this morning I was doing a scalp something for blue you were doing a Scouse accent for blue? Yeah, because they were eating toast and I was like, oh, give us a bit of toast, Dad, don't be tired. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Are we going to play? I am. <laughs> <laughs> give it a kick. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spider Man here, guys. We've got Spider Man here. Come on, then, are we going down the slide? Go on, then. Ready? Go. Jump. We've got a sleeping boy over here. Obviously we are back from soft play now. We've been back quite a while actually. And do you know where earlier I said I was gonna crack on and do some housework when they were both asleep? I haven't done it. <laughs> and do you know why? Guys, I'm so bad at managing my time and prior prioritizing what needs doing first. And I feel like my brain is just mashed up all this stuff that I need to do. Like I need to put the clothes away. I need to uh, finish editing my vlog. I need to film this thing. I need to do this for Jesse. I need to do that. I need to do this. I need to do that. And honestly, it gets me so stressed out. It's unreal. I feel like my brain is so full at the minute. And I don't know what to do first. I start one job, don't finish it, then start another one. I'm terrible. I just thought I can put the washing away a bit later on when Jimmy's home, you know, and can stay down here with the boys. So I think I'm going to try and finish editing my Centre Parks vlog up, which should already be up by the time this one's, got, this one's up anyway. Um... But yeah, I've got loads of stuff I need to do, like loads. <laughs> well, we got home from soft play. Jesse had a really good time, bless him. He, he really enjoyed it and, you know, running about, burning his energy off. He fell asleep in the car, transferred him into the living room when he's been asleep since, gave Teddy a feed, and then I've just been chilling on the sofa for a bit. Jimmy should be home from work soon. I was going to go and do a food shop tonight because we haven't really got much in, but I think I'm going to save that and do that another, t maybe tomorrow night instead. Just so I can stay in tonight and get done what I need to get done. So I think tonight, I don't know what we're going to do for tea. I could do a pasta, uh, just see what we've got in the freezer really, just see what we've got. Uh, but yeah, we've had, a, we've had a nice day, haven't we, Teddy? Have you enjoyed today? You were asleep the whole time we were at soft play. And I wanted to take you into the sensory room, didn't I? And we're going to do that next time. <laughs> and you get you talking now, aren't you? To mummy, you're talking to me. That's a lovely smile. You're so smiley. Honestly, guys, today I have just felt like not put together at all. You know, I just go out of the house, like, looking a state, and I think, God, you know, I need to look like better care of me, but I just go out of the house looking like a right mess. And then I see people I know, and I'm like, but they're looking at me thinking, what on earth? She looks horrendous. I do want to look so bad. Another package has arrived for me, which I'm glad about. I sold some bits on Vinted last week, some of Teddy's clothes, and I had no packing bags. So they've arrived today, so I need to get on with that as well. I need to do that, like, tonight or tomorrow, really. I need to crack on with that and get that sorted, because I just do. Because on Wednesday, when I would usually just have Teddy, me and Jessie are going to uh, Media City. I can't believe it guys, I'm so excited. We're going to Media City to the CBB's set. I can't believe it. And I'm going for breakfast with Danny Dyer. <laughs> Danny Dyer's gonna be there. The um not Danny Dyer, get out of my pub, Danny Dyer, his daughter, Danny Dyer, Danielle Dyer, <laughs> who are on the island. She's gonna be there. Um there's gonna be a little breakfast thing. I think Hey Dougie's gonna be there. Yeah, we're going there for their new app launch i can't remember what it's called i think it's called like little learners or something i'm so excited to go though it's just me and jesse going so usually i would have that day like to do stuff but obviously we're doing that instead and i'm not complaining um but yeah i need to crack on and just get some stuff done Pull well, my wish upon a candle co stuff and tidy my house because it just looks a bit of a mess doesn't it teddy shall mummy edit her vlog yeah and then your brother should be waking up soon, pestering you again. Right, Jimmy's home from work. He's just having his Sunday dinner that my mum plated up for him yesterday. Jess is just having some milk. Teddy's here, I'm just about to get him a bottle. And we are going food shopping, but Jimmy's coming with me. Uh, so we're gonna drop both boys off at my mum's because it's only around the corner from Tesco's and then go and do a big food shop because I haven't really got anything in, so last week I did some like meal planning and stuff, but I'm not really sure what to do this week. I know I want to make the broccoli pasta again, 
So I'm going to get some broccoli in. And then when my cousin came round this morning, she had um, a little tub of Greek yogurt, chia seeds and strawberries and it looks so nice. So I'm going to get some of that because I want to try and make some healthier choices. Um, but yeah, how's your dinner, Jimmy? Good. We had a good day at work. Yeah. Jesse, did you have fun at soft play? What we're watching on TV? Fishes. No. Oh, we are watching fishes. We're watching Nemo, aren't we? Your favourite at the minute. Yeah, so when we've done the food shop, I'll show you everything we've got. We need some essentials. Teddy needs formula, so I needed to go anywhere, anyway, really. And we need some milk and everything, all that good stuff, some kitchen roll. So, yeah. Right, boys dropped off for in Tesco. How nice is this jumper? I wish I'd got it when they did the 25% off. It's just ended. How nice is that? Like everyday loungewear, pair of jeans. Love it. £125. Is anyone else's food shop this much? Because ours is always so expensive. And bearing in mind, that is with a £13.50 formula and £11 on nappies and £5 cat food for my mum, which I'm dropping off for her. But whenever I ask any other people like, how much their food shop is, they like it, it's 60 quid per week. You are. How are people doing food shops for £60 a week? Because, like, regardless of whether we've bought What, do people form, do that? Yeah. Biscoff crisp crunchy spread. I bought three bags of sweets. <laughs> Alton. Or beers, we got beers. Burrs. <laughs> I bought some chia seeds. <laughs> they were only a pound each though. We're yeah, we've got some. Then, oh, I mean we can go to drive through, but no. no, I'm not going to sit in. We need to go and pick his boys oh, up. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Was I swearing? Did you just think I was talking to my son when you got in car? No, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I thought you were just talking Honestly, to me. Honestly, <laughs> I'm filming. Oh my god, were I swearing? I don't think so. Do you mean you swear whether you know it's recording no, or not? No, but I didn't actually know it was recording, so it could have been a lot worse. No, we'll have to see where I edit it back. I'm pretty sure I did. Why? Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure I did. Right, well, Jimmy's had his dinner. Jesse has had his dinner at my mum's. I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to have. I've just bought some red onion and chai bagels. I think I might have that toasted with some Philadelphia spread on. And then, is that a healthy choice? Is that a healthy choice? It's better than the kebab we were going to get Why after that lady. Her? No, but I didn't want to tell Jimmy because the slightest bit of chocolate I eat when I say I'm eating healthy, <laughs> I'll go, I thought you were eating healthy. So I thought, I'm not going to say out to him. I'm not going to tell him anything. But he's, I think he's kind of like cotton on when I was buying. Because they're all the stuff you've been buying. Greek yogurt, chia seed, you know, I would never buy oh, that. Like, oh, they've looked, them yogurts are there you like with chocolate bits and then you went, yeah, yeah. Like, um, what? Well, like I said, I don't know if I've said it on this vlog because I actually can't remember what I've said today, but I'm not... Because one of my best friends asked me to be a bridesmaid on Saturday night. It's in Greece next year. And, you know, I would just like to look a little bit better. I mean, like I said, I'm not, I've not been fussed about losing any weight since, I've, since having Teddy. I only had him two months ago. And I'm not, I'm not like throwing my sin in deep and then like suddenly like not eating, you know, my, my lovely food. Do you know, because I'm a bridesmaid's mate. Yeah. Mating man. Yeah, mating man. Yeah, do I have to uh, do I have to have a suit? Well, when it's abroad, you don't tend to wear a suit. You normally wear, like, a nice Short. shirt and shorts, yeah. Mm. But still, like, nice and dressy. What but regardless of whether I were a bridesmaid or not, you'd still have to wear that. Have you ever been to a wedding, Jimmy? I've been, <laughs> I've been to one when I was younger. Anyway. I've been to a wedding in ages. I'd love to go to my own sometime soon, you know what I mean? But anyway, we're going to go and pick his boys up and then get back at 7 o'clock. I'm tired. Are you tired after yep. today? Yep. Ready for another day tomorrow? Jess is at nursery, so I need to get organised with that, getting all of his mm -hmm. clothes out ready and stuff, make sure I'm prepped. So yeah, we're going to go and pick him up and I'll see you when we're home and I'll show you what we've got. Right, just try and do a little bit of a haul shopping haul i got some five ones i had these last year when i was like fully on you know on it losing weight i absolutely loved them so i got some of those i, I did get some <laughs> biscoff crunch spread but I, I fancied this right in my so in my yogurt like drizzled on top i just want to start making healthier choices i know i've got a biscoff spread but just ignore that I've got these because i actually really love yeah, these as well I've gone for natural sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got some protein peanut and chocolate bars because I love those. These are the bagels that I got. Red onion and chives. Got some dilute. Some, what are these? Can't even think. 
cakes. Bread cakes. Fucking tea cakes. We're in Barnsley. It's tea cake. It's bread cake. Whatever. Right, what's everyone thinking? If you're from Barnsley, what do you say? It's bread cake. If you want to get married, it's tea cake. A tea cake right. is when there's fruit in it. Fine, no marriage yeah. for you. Fine. I'll just take me I'll just take my plate and go go pop some leave. <laughs> some chia seeds, because like I said, my cousin had a mini yogurt earlier and I wanted them. So I got those. Uh, I got these, oh guys, these are so nice. The one pound each, right? Sweet chili rice crackers, they're absolutely gorgeous. We got some salad. Uh, Jimmy got this, some alpen. I actually don't like alpen, but alpen, alpen. But I, I don't like it, but you you apparently do, so you got some of that. <laughs> Pancakes, because it's good for Jesse's breakfast. Um, got the usual milks. I got an apple and mango, because I love apple juice, so I thought I'd try an apple and mango. We've got some burgers. We've got some bacon strips, because when I made the pasta the other week, the bacon in it, it took ages to cook in it. When I make it this week, I'm just going to do put these in it instead, because uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> Uh, got some cheese slices for his burgers. Jimmy's got these for some sandwiches. Just some roast chicken and some dry cured ham. Pizza. Yeah? Mate. Helmet? Where is it? I need. Where's your helmet? Yeah. Oh, go on then, put it on. And then we got two Pizza Express pizzas because they were on offer. What Thanks. Chia seeds. What do you do with them? Put them in your yogurt. Got some coleslaw, some jacket potatoes. Jimmy got his hand cream that stings like crazy. I don't know how he can use it. Doesn't it work? Um, got some Jimmy's body wash. My body wash because it was on offer. Me Sanex. We've got some Carex, even though that burns my hands off as well. I cannot find a soap that doesn't burn my eczema off. Any recommendations, please let me know. Uh, I think that's everything in that bag. We've got some frozen chips. We've got some bacon. These were on offer as well. So we just tend to usually get this one. Cheese, because I've been loving cheese on toast recently, so I've had to buy some more. Some Philadelphia for his pasta. You can just hear it all going on it back. Chin roll, garlic bread, some yogurt, some broccoli, some made pasta, uh, some Greek yogurt, formula. Uh, what's that at the bottom there? Oh, strawberries at the bottom there as well. And then we've got some nappies and some bread. And I think that's pretty much everything that we got. So I don't know what to have for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to have that bagel. I'll see. Not sure. I do fancy pasta, but I just can't be bothered making it, to be honest with you. Oh, and then washing up after. It's just a pain, isn't it? But yeah, I'm going to get it put away and then we need to try and wind this boy down. But if I'm being honest, guys, if I'm talking about bedtimes, Jesse doesn't have a set bedtime. Most of the time it's 9, 10 o'clock at night. He still sleeps in the middle of me and Jimmy with Jess, with Teddy at the side and he's next to me, crib. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I know some people get worried when they say the, bit, the child still sleeps with him, but... Um, you know, to be honest, we're not massively bothered. Well, I'm not anyway. I mean, Jimmy would prefer it if Jesse weren't in our bed, but only because, you know. <laughs> I just want some space. <laughs> yeah. I wake up in the morning and I'm like this. So I end up we bed. have got a super king bed, but it's still a bit cramped in it. But I'm not fussed. Um, it's not had an, an effect on us really as a couple, though, has it? So anyway, it don't bother me whatsoever. Um, and I know some people are against it, but that's just us. Uh, that, that's how we are, we're happy at the minute with that and you know what, it won't last forever, you know, he's not going to be 14 year old, 16 year old and still wanting to sleep with his mum. Um, right now he does and that's fine with me, uh, so yeah, we'll come to like trying to get him in his own room at another time but for right now I'm just happy with how it is. He has a good night sleeping there and he sleeps through so I don't really at the minute want to change anything, so that's that. <laughs> right, this is what I've gone for, I don't think it looks appetising but I've got Greek yoghurt with chai seeds, strawberries and melted lotus biscoff crunchy spread on top with a glass of water so this is my dinner right jimmy is now in the bath i usually get in first because just jimmy takes ages in the bath and um, teddy's getting fussy so he's ready for a feed um and then after that i'm gonna get him i'm coming jesse i'm coming i'm just making teddy some milk um and then I need to get him into some PJs um, and I also need to get just into his PJs and I still need to put the washing away because I've not done it and it's all over the bed um, <laughs> I also need to get Jesse's stuff ready for nursery I need to get myself in the bath but you know that yoghurt was absolutely insane it was so nice, really really enjoyed it um, so yeah we stocked up on food for another week 
which is good. I feel like when I do a full chop and like we've both done it together, I feel so out of sync. Like I just feel like the night's just totally gone now. And I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I said earlier, you know, when my, my brain just feels so full of stuff and I can't empty it. I'm like struggling to empty my brain. I know that sounds really strange. Um but yeah. Just got so much to do and I just don't do it. And you know what it, you know why? It's because I procrastinate. I'm terrible, absolutely terrible. But yeah, I'm making him this bottle. I'm gonna give it in, change his bum, get him into some fresh PJs. Oh, have you fallen down? Oh, Jesse's pretending to fall down so that I come and help him. Don't put these in the fridge. Oops. Well, yeah, Jess is at nursery tomorrow, which means I can get some stuff done. I think I might write myself a list tonight. I am going to see my nan first thing tomorrow morning, and then afterwards I'm going to crack on with some... You can't even see me. I'm going to crack on with some bits that I need to do, and I'm going to write myself a list tonight. Oh, do you know what? Every time I look at this packaging, I just think, how gorgeous is it? It's just so lovely. Um, I need to have a proper whiff and I need to get Jimmy to smell the new scents as well. Time to get ready for bed, Jessie. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Are you going to come and help Mummy do Teddy then? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to help get ready for, ready for bed? Can you yeah. go get Mummy a nappy for yeah. Jessie, for Teddy? Without picking your nose. So, Jessie, get Teddy a nappy and get you a nappy. You doing it? Wow. Oh, he's even getting it wipes, bless him. Clever boy. Right, can you get Jesse a nappy? Where's the cheeky mister? Where's the cheeky mister? His outfit of the night for bed. He's got this gorgeous little teddy bear vest. And his little life is wonderful because you're my mummy sleep suit. Right. Teddy's nearly done and then it's you, Jesse, okay? Yeah. Now we're going to get you ready for bed. Yeah. And then Mummy needs to get in the shower. Right. Yeah? Ready? Let's lift you up. Oh! Getting so big. Are uh, you? Yeah. You're getting so big now. Nearly three months old. How did that happen? Oh! Oh, you're making some nice noises. Yeah, you are. Are you talking to mummy? Are you talking to mummy? Are you talking to mummy? <laughs> Bless him. Yes, I know I can hear you. I can hear you. Why are you barely fitting in this sleep suit? It's the first time you've wore it. Honestly. This boy is like skipping three to six and nearly in six to nine. At two month old. Pull it down a bit, shall we? Yeah. Are you all ready for bed? Are you all ready for bed? He's all ready for bed, Mr. Teddy. There we go. Right, Jesse, your turn. Right, come on. Ooh. Queen, put your bottoms on. Ready? Oh, we're sitting down to do it. Right, are we going to lie down then? You want to put a film on? No. Down. You want to lie down, yeah? yeah. What about Beast? Do you want that on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, you want Beast on upstairs? Upstairs. Oh, you want to go into bed? Yeah. We can do that if you want. You want to go to bed now? Ready? Oh, oh. Pull them up, ready? Kick, kick. Quick, quick, quick. Ready, let's pull your top over. Ready, there we go. You know we jump. All done. All done. One, two, three. We need to get all the nappies up here, don't we? Pick them all up because we've just changed you both. Oh, Ned. Yes. Want to go upstairs now? We're going to nursery in the morning. To bed, okay, we can go to bed. But mummy needs a shower first. Right. Yeah, can, uh, can mummy get a bubble bath? Uh, uh, you want to go upstairs? Okay. You want to go to bed? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to go to sleep? Yeah. Do you want Teddy to come upstairs with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Right. That's done. Done. Right, both boys are all ready for bed. Um, I'm just going to get Jesse's bag for nursery sorted so that I don't have to do it tomorrow. I could do with getting a new one really because it's so mucky and it's been washed so many times. So we've got, uh, in fact I'll put these in first, we've got a spare pair of clothes, always needed, some nappies and some wipes and then his water bottle is all, already there and then I've got this set out because it just makes life so much easier, I actually did this before Teddy arrived as well because again it's just so much easier, socks, joggers, top, jumper, all ready for tomorrow morning. Yeah, joggers is for tomorrow for nursery. Are you going to nursery tomorrow? No, I'm You want to go to bed? Yeah. No, we can go to bed now, but tomorrow you're going to nursery. Upstairs. Upstairs, okay, we'll do that. It's already for tomorrow morning. Right, what you want to do then? You want to sleep down here? I mean, lay down on here, or do you want to go up to bed? No, upstairs. Upstairs, okay. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Look at the state of my hair. It is nursery morning. I woke up a little bit late. I normally get up at seven and I've woke up at 7.45. You want some hockey on? I'll get you some. Um, so yeah, I'm running a bit behind, but the saving grace is, I'll put some on for you. The saving grace is my brother's getting dropped off because we're gonna go to my nan's straight after we've dropped Jesse off and take Teddy there to my nan's house. So I'm hoping he can just try and help me out and uh, get there on time I mean you don't have to be there for a specific time really but obviously you know I pay for a full day so um, I like to try and get as much use out of it as possible but yeah we've had a good night last night to be honest Jessie had a really really good sleep Jessie are you going to nursery this morning? Okay. you do like it don't you? Okay. oh you want hockey? yeah okay. I'll put some hockey on TV just making Teddy his bottle that's the main thing I need to do before we go because he um, obviously hasn't had a bottle since last night so I'm going to give him that, get Jessie ready, I'm pretty much ready, I've just whacked some leggings and a jumper on, I do need to just make myself look a little bit more presentable, we'll say that, um, just need to brush through my hair and pin it back with a crocodile clip, shove some moisturiser on really quickly and then I'll be good to go and then after my nans I think I'm just going to come straight home and like I said I'm gonna, gonna write myself a list when I bought um I haven't wrote it so I might do it whilst I'm feeding Teddy and just write down what I want to get done today and then we can go through it later. Hi everyone, I am now just editing this video back three weeks later because I'm so behind with the vlogs. I'm really trying my hardest to keep up with them. Uh, I'm so sorry it ended so abruptly. I actually carried on filming that day, but it was already 50 minutes long and the other stuff was just irrelevant anyway, it wasn't nothing exciting. So I thought I'd just keep it to the 24 hours. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I actually, when I was filming it, I thought, oh my God, this is all over the place. And then someone said to me, well, I had a few messages saying, isn't mum life just all over the place anyway? Sometimes it's just total chaos. Um, and you're so right, they're so right. Um, but then when I edited it back, it weren't actually too bad. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I actually think it's one of my favourite vlogs um, because it's just a true, like day of you know what we get up to um not every day is like that though you know some days are totally different to that it just depends um some days i'm more stressed than others i think that day wasn't too bad um but yeah i just thought i, I just really wanted to film um just one day of me and the boys together and just show you what we get up to and what day life is like uh, but I really hope you enjoyed it if you want me to do any more especially when Ted is a little bit older then let me know because I definitely will do it again I also mentioned on my Instagram tonight about me possibly vlogging every day in March if you watch my YouTube right from the start I did a year of daily vlogging every single day and I absolutely loved it and I only stopped because I started a new job last year so I only finished daily vlogging in like February last year so I've had like a year off of just doing like you know probably one one video a week but some of you had asked me that when I go back on maternity leave will I be doing daily vlogging again and I said I'd probably probably see how I get on and see you know maybe when Teddy's a little bit older like obviously he's three months old now and into the swing of mum life maybe I think about it so I think I'm gonna try in March and see how we get on. I don't know if it'll if I'm gonna be guaranteed every day because I'm literally three weeks behind editing this video. Like that's 
I've just honestly not had time to do it. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to vlog in March. But I just, I really want to try it. I really want to try daily vlogging again. And I have said on my Instagram that, you know, most days, you know, I might just be at home not really doing much. So if you still want to see them, just let me know. We are actually away for one week in March as well. Um, so there'd be one week where I would still be filming, but the vlogs probably wouldn't be going up every day because where we're going the connection is terrible and I wouldn't be able to upload anything so there would be one week where I would still be filming but then I'd have to just re-upload them all when I get home maybe double uploads when I get back but let me know anyway if that's what you're wanting to see I would definitely be up for doing it um but anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope you all enjoyed it it's one of my favorite vlogs I've done I think um and yeah bye